am Shanti. Welcome back to your own channel. See the Sudha Truth Life Within, and we are going to record the 19th March of our Godly Blessing, where Supreme God Father wants us to celebrate our perfection with the awareness of our unlimited rights. So God has given us certain rights on His revelation to us that who He is, where does He stay, what does He look like, what are His ways of purifying the world how he turns hell into heaven on earth as you can see if you open up the news channels you'll find out that everything hellish is going on in this world and how this hell is going to finish and how heaven is going to be created or established so we have the rights to know that knowledge don't we you do have the right to know that knowledge you can do so by going and attending the seven day course of brahma kumaris and understanding the complete creation of god so the blessing goes like this. May you be a master creator. God is the creator and he gives us the right to create our own destiny. So we become master creators. And celebrate your perfection with the awareness of your unlimited rights. The explanation goes like this. At the confluence age, you children receive the inheritance. You also receive an income on the basis of how you study and you receive blessings too. So how we study means... We have four subjects over here. One is knowledge, getting this knowledge which we receive in the seven days, then meditating, then imbibing divine virtues. We cannot be pundits who just use this knowledge and give it to others but have anger, ego, jealousy, hatred within us. Then we'll be known as just a pundit who can just recite things but not actually make other souls follow them completely. It has been mentioned in Guru Granth Sahib also that you can't be a Pandit and just recite and not have divine virtues, virtues within you. So God says that you have four subjects and then you serve people. That is a fourth subject. Serve people with this knowledge provided you have divine virtues within you. So take every step by keeping the rights of all three relationships emerged in your awareness. Time, matter and maya are now waiting to bid you farewell so we have relationship with the supreme being we are a, a child of his we are a student of his he's a teacher who's come down to teach us the complete knowledge and then we are also a disciple of his that means he's a guru the true guru or the Satguru. so he gives us these three different relationships that we need to follow he's a father parampita he's a shikshak param shikshak and Param teacher means supreme teacher and a supreme Satguru. Nobody else on this earth can call himself a Satguru. That means a true Guru because only God can be a true Guru. No human being can be a true Guru. So then God says, time, matter and Maya are now waiting to bid you farewell. That means time is coming to an end for the complete drama. Matter is also saying we are completely tired of your atrocities. And Maya means lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment are ready to leave your mind. These impurities are now waiting to bid you farewell. Now you master creators simply have to celebrate your perfection and they will bid you farewell. That means we have to become completely 100% soul conscious and powerful and these negative energies will leave us. And the good times, that means Satya will start. And the five elements, that means matter will be purified. So... Baba says, now you, Master Creator, simply have to celebrate your perfection and they will bid you farewell. Look into the mirror of knowledge. That means God has given us this knowledge that whether you have imbibed the powers, whether your karmas are pure, whether you are using the divine virtues, the 36 divine virtues which you are supposed to have as a soul, look at yourself in the mirror. Do you have those virtues within you? Are your karmas pure enough? So, it's the mirror of knowledge. And God says, look into the mirror of knowledge and see what you would become if destruction were to take place at this moment. If at this time the third world war is supposed to take place, are you purified enough? Are you powerful enough? Have you done such karmas that you will become a high soul, a pure divine being in the eyes of God? Or otherwise there will be punishment. So... What is that punishment? How do we receive, the, receive that punishment is also what we learn in the 7 day course in Brahma Kumaris. You two can go ahead and attend that and how to become that divine being. And since we have spoken about destruction, destruction means destruction of old and the construction of new. That means one 
new yuga is going and the new yuga is coming so with this om shanti